dreams. God had given Joseph the ability to interpret dreams, so Pharaoh had Joseph brought to him from the prison. Joseph interpreted the dreams for him and said, Seven years of famine. Pharaoh was so impressed with Joseph that he appointed him to be the second most powerful man in all of Egypt. Joseph told the people to store up large amounts of food during the seven years of good harvests. Then Joseph sold the food to the people when the seven years of famine came so they would have enough to eat. The famine was severe, not only in Egypt, but also in Canaan, where Jacob and his family lived. The brothers did not recognize Joseph when they stood before him to buy food, but Joseph recognized them. After testing his brothers to see if they had changed, Joseph said to them, I am your brother, Joseph. Do not be afraid. You tried to when you told me as a slave, but God used the evil for good. Come and live in Egypt so I can provide for you and your families. When your brothers returned home and told their father Jacob that Joseph was still alive, he was very happy. Even though Jacob was an old man, he moved to Egypt with all of his family, and they all lived there. Before Jacob died, the covenant promises that God gave to Abraham were passed on to Isaac, then to Jacob, twelve sons, and their the descendants of the twelve sons, the twelve tribes of Israel. Story number nine. God calls Moses. After Joseph died, all of his relatives stayed in 